Hey Libra, how are you guys doing? This is Ashley from Serendipity Tarot and I'm coming to you guys with your August 2024 general love tarot reading. This is for my Libras out there. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're going to take a look and see what messages are coming out for you guys when it comes to your love life, love, romance, partnerships, all of the above, okay? Um, Libra, this is for you. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. You could be a Libra or your person could be a Libra. Please do take it how it resonates and leave the rest, okay? If you're interested in a personal love reading, you certainly could book a reading with me anytime. Go to my website or even Etsy and book a reading there. I do them video recorded as well as through Etsy message to the morning turnaround, okay? All right, let's jump right in. I'm going to get two cards today from the Epiphany Oracle deck. You've seen this deck. I design and create my own decks. You've seen this one before. Um, let's use it today, okay? So Libra... What's going on with my Libras out there? What do they need to know? What's happening? Okay. We have ready to release this love block, okay? So there could be some challenges with related to a, a love connection that you're in, right? Where it feels like things are very difficult. It's complex. It's complicated. You could feel like there's a lot of blockages, right? Someone here may not be open, to giving and receiving of your love, okay? And someone is now saying, I wanna release this love block. I'm tired of our love being blocked or um, I'm tired of there being like challenges in this connection, right? So maybe there's some kind of love blockage that is being released. And then we also have fear and anxiety, fears and anxieties. So maybe the love blockage is caused by someone's fear, fear of love, um, being unable to trust, right? Someone is anxious. Someone is like, I'm getting like afraid, frantic, right? So I almost feel like someone is now willing to overcome their fear and anxiety um, in order to love better, in order to be in a place where they can receive your love, okay? So let's take a look, okay? Maybe this is someone that you're dealing with, okay? Are they afraid? Are they fearful? Um, do they run away, right? As soon as you get really close to them, as soon as you profess your love and be vulnerable with them, do they tend to like hit the streets, you know? Let's take a look. One more good shuffle for Libras. All right, in the recent past, Libra. We have the Seven of Cups, the Wheel of Fortune, in reverse and the seven of swords so in the past libra it does look like there was a lot of confusion where maybe you didn't know how this person felt about you you could have felt like they had many different options in love other people they were dealing with and you could have been very unclear about where you stood okay now with the wheel of fortune in reverse it does feel like there was just a lot of like turns and twists and um i'm getting like you weren't able to make advancements with this person, right? There was some back steps here. So it does feel like there's something here that wasn't able to happen the way you wanted it to or expected it to, okay? And with the Seven of Swords, you could have felt like someone sabotaged this relationship. You could have felt like there was a lot of deception, a lot of trickery. You could have felt like this person wasn't honest with you. They also could have cheated on you. Lies, cheating, deception, manipulation. And it could have been related to other people, right? You could have felt like this person didn't make you the priority because there were other people that were getting in the way of this connection. So let's see what the energy is right now. We have a card that flipped over. We have the Queen of Swords. So this could be you receiving up information. This could also be you telling something to someone, okay? So there's some kind of exchange of communication right now. Maybe someone wants to have a talk or some kind of discussion. You definitely could be finding out some kind of fact or truth related to a King of Wands, Leo, Sag, Aries. Page of Swords for me typically is finding out, right? Data, research, investigation. This could be like gossip, rumor, hearsay. And so this could be something coming to you. It could be like communication coming through the mail, text, right? Phone call. Um, now, it also could be communication as to why someone wasn't able to make a move towards you. So you could be finding out something, Libra, right now regarding why someone wasn't able to take action, why they weren't there for you, why they didn't fight for this. King of Wands in verse, why all of a sudden they lost passion and they were no longer interested in you. It also could be explaining why this person was fooling around, right? King of Wands in verse is just like, you know, not really taking the connection serious. In and out of your life, okay, loosey-goosey kind of energy, right? But also why they were afraid and why there was a lot of anxiety on their part. Let's take a look at your person's energy a little bit more. We have the King of Swords in the verse, Page of Wands, 
five of swords and the two wands so what i'm seeing is that someone here was not very honest with you right king of swords in reverse they lied to you they were not honest they were not forthcoming they could have told you something just you know for the hell of it um i don't feel like this person was very direct with you now this is someone that wants to move in a new direction with the page of wands or coming in with a creative idea a plan a strategy maybe some kind of creative spark now they're all fired up and they want to move forward and they may be wanting to move forward with you in a direction that they've never taken with you. What's interesting is the Five of Swords. This is someone that definitely is a little bit in, in conflict, right? There's some kind of conflict here. Five of Swords for me typically is lying and being in denial of something. So this could be someone that may be wanting to have some kind of conversation with you because they lied to you. They denied their love for you, right? And now they want to move forward and move in a different path. So it's kind of what I'm seeing here. How they see moving forward with you, you know, the next steps is two wands. They want to make a decision. This could be someone that's fairly indecisive at times, and they could be making a decision between two things, two options, two people, two paths. Maybe there's a decision that they've been wanting and they should have made a long time ago. Someone is like, I need to choose how I want to move forward. When I look at the outcome, let's get three cards. We have the hangman, the seven of pentacles, and the nine of wands. Um, the hangman really signifies someone really taking um, a moment to really think and assess things, right? They're looking at the whole situation, different point of view, different perspective. They're taking consideration of all the different options and opportunities and consequences, right? So I almost feel like someone is really thinking long and hard about something, about their future with you. The seven of pentacles typically signifies long-term opportunities moving forward, uh, the future. So someone is thinking about planting seeds and if they plant seeds, what perhaps would that produce, right? What kind of fruit? Um, and so the Nine of Wands tells me, this is someone that wants to fight for this. They haven't given up. They're so dedicated. They're persevering. They want to um, really push for something. But the wand is, is desire. It's passion. It's excitement. It's action. So someone is really coming in with this um, energy of like after thinking and really thinking and sitting on this, I'm ready to make a move for the long term. I'm ready to come in with passion, excitement, and really ready to solidify things. So I like it. This is telling me that someone is like, Maybe thinking about how they can release this love blockage, the hangman, how they can overcome some kind of fear and anxiety that they have in effort to get what they ultimately want. This is someone that could have lied to you about how they really felt. And now they're saying, you know what, I I'm tired of living this way. I'm tired of being in this place where, you know, I'm alone. You know, we're shut out from each other. We're not talking or communicating, right? So let's take a look. Let's find out more information about this person, whoever this is. Like, share, comment, subscribe. If you want a personal love reading, you certainly can book a reading with me anytime. The Serendipity Tarot. <laughs> Go to my website or even Etsy. I do have some sales going on right now you may want to take advantage of. All right, fears and anxieties and ready to release this love blockage. Let's start there. Why is that the challenge? Three of Pentacles. So someone here may have definitely been dealing with someone else simultaneously, which could have created some complication in their ability and availability to move forward with you, right? Now, Three of Pentacles is also about coming together, collaborating, like-mindedness. And I almost feel like your person really wanted the same thing you wanted, right? They were on the same page as you. But the problem was that their fear and anxiety got in the way. Because of their fear and anxiety, they weren't able to come together and fulfill this mission with you. Relationship, commitment, right? So I feel like this person loved you, right? Ready to release this love block. They loved you, but they weren't able to show it at the time because of fears and anxieties, which is telling me like now, like they want to overcome these things, right? So in a recent past, we have the Seven of Swords. They lied, they deceived you, right? Seven of Cups, a lot of confusion, now we have the Seven of Pentacles. So now someone is thinking long and hard. Thinking long and hard about the future, what they have now, and what they could create. Um, let's see. The Temperance is here. This could be a Sagittarius and a Page of Pentacles. Someone is also thinking about how can I give to Libra and when would be the right time, right? Because Page of Pentacles is telling me there's something they want to give to you and it feels like there's something tangible. And they're thinking about timing. They want to make sure they do it at the right time where it's going to work for them, right? Seven of Pentacles, where there's going to be a benefit. There's some kind of investment and return. Um, temperance is also patience and understanding. Someone here wants you to be more patient, understanding with them, knowing that maybe, you know, in the past, they were confused. Seven of Cups, they didn't know what they wanted. They had other options. 
but now you're wanting to communicate right we have the queen of swords page of swords there's some communication some information coming in chariot in verse knight of pentacles in verse and the king of swords so here it is someone is coming in and they're explaining they're telling you exactly what may have happened where something wasn't victorious i wasn't able to be successful i wasn't able to meet you halfway i wasn't able to meet you um at the end right I, I told you I was going to do this for you and I, I didn't come through. I made this promise and I broke it. There's some communication coming in regarding that, why this person wasn't able to be that person for you. Knight of Pentacles in verse, there could be something here about them not able to provide at the time, okay? Not being able to make a move and give you some kind of security or stability, whether they lacked it or whatnot, okay? The chariot in verse, is, again, is a failure here. So someone is explaining something that may have led to their failure, okay? Again, this could be a uh, Cancer, Leo, Sag, Aries, can also be an air sign like you. Let's see, this is someone that now wants to move in this new direction with you, Page of Wands, Five of Cups in the verse. There's that beautiful Two of Cups and a Five of Swords. Someone is like, I believe in us, right? You're my person, we're like missing puzzle pieces, Two of Cups, I love you, I care for you. Um, there's definitely energy of coming together and believing that, you know, we love each other, we care, each other, care for each other, and that's going to get us far, okay? Someone feels really bad about the past. They have a lot of regret, okay? There's a feeling of, I should have done better. I should have been there for you. And kind of dwelling on the past, dwelling on something where they don't have control of anymore. But I see them wanting to move in this new direction with you, wanting to come together with this beautiful Two of Cups energy, now, I want to find out more about the Five of Swords. What is this energy? Typically, this is lies or fighting, arguing, conflict. The devil in a verse. So someone could be like, I'm ready to let go of something that, you know, may have led to my downfall. Toxic way, self-sabotage. I'm ready to let go of this um, way of thinking that is, you know, bad. It leads to bad decisions, bad judgment calls. Someone has an, I'm getting like an internal fight. There's an internal fight they have with, with themselves regarding wanting to do better. Okay, the devil in a verse, this could be a Capricorn, but this is the energy of your person having this internal fight and battle within themselves to do better. So they want to do better, but there's definitely a uh, work in progress here, right? So two of wands, they want to move forward and make a decision. And it's regarding, you know, the ten of pentacles, king of wands in a verse, something that they don't have, something that they want. Okay, with you, king of wands, Leo, Sag, Aries, ten of pentacles is commitment, it's long-term stability, security, mar marriage, those kind of things. Um, three cups they want to come together in fellowship they want to celebrate okay and there's the energy of again a ten of pentacles so someone is making a decision um and it, it's regarding like what's really what they really need and what's of value to them right because pentacles is value and also three of cups coming together with someone okay so libra i almost feel like your person is saying i'm going to choose between you and maybe a third party situation three cups and i'm going to choose the right the right path, right? The path that is going to bring me the most stability and security. Maybe the path where, you know, I can get married and settle down, right? Someone's now choosing. Now, let's take a look at the outcome. The hanged man, the seven of pentacles, thinking about their future. The wheel of fortune came out in reverse. The star, I love it, Aquarius energy, healing, hope, recovery, and then the knight of wands in reverse. So, Someone is going to come in and they're going to come in at the right time. They don't want to come in when they're not ready. They don't want to come in when something here isn't going to work for them, right? The wheel of fortune reverse. But I can promise you that Libra, someone here really wants to heal this. They believe in this. They believe in you. They find this to be um, unique. They realize you're special. And hey, man, they're now seeing beauty in this connection every day. So the beautiful thing about the star is that someone wants to help and heal, to reconnect, to recover this connection, no matter how long it takes. But I also think that there's something here about timing where they they having to maybe do something, you know, fix something in the background or do something behind the scenes before they can come in and things will work out for them with you and them, okay? The, the wheel in a verse could suggest that maybe the timing is wrong or there's still some kind of unfinished business elsewhere. And they need to take care of that in order for there to be positive blessings and opportunities moving forward with you right that good fortune energy so that's what i'm saying and this could be an aquarius or pisces um the challenge is the three pentacles coming together right bridging um the gap right coming together and making something happen getting on the same page and that's kind of what i'm seeing you and your person have a lot more in common than you may think so that's what i'm seeing libra if you guys enjoyed this reading like share comment subscribe and i'll check you guys out soon all right take care